you're anything like me and you own a lot of discs, you probably like swapping them out of your bag pretty often. I made an in the bag video almost, uh, what, eight months ago now? And a lot of it's different now. And I actually, I'm probably gonna make some changes in the off season too. This box right here has all of the discs that I've either had in my bag at some point, intended to have in my bag, or just have as backups. So I'm gonna go over everything in this box. I have like a sheet in my tooth. There we go. All right, I'm gonna start off with the obvious one, the disc that I have the most of, which is the Destroyer. So I have a ton of Destroyers. I'm just gonna go through all of them pretty quick and just, yeah, just run through all of them. We have the Champion Destroyer, I picked this one up. Early, I think last year, maybe even in 2021, late 2021, uh, it's like 171. It's actually pretty good for forehands and it has some stability initially and still kind of has that at the end uh, as it starts to get more beat in, but it's actually like pretty glidy and a little bit different feel in flight path than the Star Destroyer. And I honestly would consider putting it back in my bag at some point. I really liked how this flew and I had some pretty good shots with this. Next are a bunch of these Sakubot Destroyers. Uh, I picked up a lot of these. This one I really didn't throw very much. It was more a backup. This one I threw a bunch at some point. There's one on the wall behind me that was the first Destroyer I ever owned. I have a bunch of these. This looks like a Sakubot at first glance, but it's actually a Philo Destroyer. I got this for a payout at a tournament. Um, I've never thrown it. I think it's pretty flippy. It might be a good roller disc. It's 172 uh, But for right now, it sits in the box until I decide to take it out to a field and see if it works for me All right, next up is this OTB open disc. I think I got this is 170 grand. So Strangely picking out a lot that aren't max weight. Most of these are max weight. I got this I think when I was trying to pick up destroyers like Yeah, I picked this up two years ago 2021 like late in the season uh, threw it like for a couple weeks maybe, and then took it out of my bag. It's a cool disc. It might end up back in there for maybe like a forehand disc or something for like throwing more turnovers, but you know, it doesn't really do much that other destroyers can't do. And it's not really quite beat in enough to be like a roller disc or something. So for now, it again, sits in the box. I was a big Ricky Wasaki fan at some point. So I picked up this Saki Bomb Texas States Destroyer. Haven't thrown it at all. It's been sitting in this box. I've always really liked these Ricky Destroyers, so when I was playing AMs, anytime I had a tournament winnings, I would pick one of these up and throw it in this box because sometimes I get lost in the water. In fact, I have another one of these that is at someone's apartment because they picked it up out of a lake for me or a pond and I haven't gotten it back yet. I picked up these two because they just came out at the end of this season and they had pretty cool stamps. I think they're supposed to be pretty overstable, but I haven't thrown them yet. I just got them because I thought they looked cool and I wasn't sure how long they'd be around for. I wanted to try the new Star Destroyer stamps. So that's these. Again, haven't thrown them, but nice to have them. I believe this is a Destroyer. I got it at some point for just the cool stamp that was on it um, when I was kind of in like my stage of buying way too many discs. I haven't really thrown it too much, but I probably will at some point because it looks pretty cool. Then we have the 2022 Calvin Destroyer in multiple colors. I have a lot of these because they're my favorite run of Destroyer and they're hard to get. So I try to get as many new copies as I can, throw them a little bit, put them in here. I got replacements. And then when certain ones get beat in a bit more and I want it to have that stability, I have another one I can throw back in my bag. Another run of Destroyer I really like is the 2021 Halo Destroyer. These things are super beefy, feel great in the hand and they're just, I don't know. There's not really any other discs like them. So I have, couple extra of these. I have one in my bag right now, these two right here, and I actually have one more that I lost in a lake. Someone messaged me that they found it and then never replied again, and I never found out where that went. And this one's 172 grams, so it's a little bit lighter, but probably will still throw it at some point. It's in pretty good condition. Then we have a couple of the 22 run. These are pretty nice. I have four of these, so these two, the one in my bag and one in my wall, that was the blue and pink one, which was like super flippy. I threw it for a little while, but it was so flippy and understable that I didn't really want to have it in my bag because it was a little unreliable, even though it did prove to be useful at some point. Maybe I'll take it back out, but for now, these are pretty nice. They're a little bit different than the 21 run, but they're still pretty stable and really reliable. So I think that's it for all the destroyers. I'm just gonna go through and just grab discs as I see them and talk about them. This is, was a wall disc for a while and it might be hard to see because of the lighting, but
but it is a Star Barsby Eagle. It's pretty flippy from what I remember. I just had it on the wall for a while, took it down recently, and it's sitting in here. I don't know if I'll ever throw it. I remember it being really flippy, and we'll have to try to take it out and see how it flies another time, but this, like I said, was on my wall for most of the year, so it wasn't really a disc I was throwing. Next up is a Ricky Wasaki, just like regular pro AVR. I probably took this out just because it wasn't with Innova anymore and I had enough AVRs in my bag, but at any point I could see this going back into my bag, especially if I want something that's flippy but not quite as much as this one right here. But yeah, for now, it sits in the, in the box. I have a whole bunch of these KC Pro AVRs. I used to putt with them, but now I have the whales. So these are just kind of my throwers that I rotate in. Uh, I have pretty much usually one, so that yellow one that's super flippy, and another one that's a bit more stable. And as they get flippy, I put them back in the box or whatever and get a new one and use that as my more stable one. Here's one more destroyer that I missed. This one I'm actually thinking of putting in my bag. It's a really cool stamp. It's pretty stable. Kind of flies, I would say, similar to the Ricky Wysocki signature stamp or like the newer Star Destroyer stamps. Cool die that I got on Reddit from someone who was selling them on Disc Exchange. Uh, I don't know, pretty cool. Should probably put it in my bag. This is a Disc Golf Pro Tour stamp T Bird. Got it at GMC. The one of the discs that I got from that, two of the discs that I got from that trip, I threw for a week and then threw them both into the same pond. So this is the last disc I have from that trip. And it's sitting in here. Probably will replace one of my T-Birds when they become too understable and I need something that's a bit newer. We have a Star AVR X3, the Jeremy Colling one. Uh, I kind of wish I had a different color. The purple is a little bit boring, I guess, but it's kind of cool. Well, I do like purple, but I wanted something a little bit more swirly. Uh, this is a great disc. It just would fill the same slot as like, the Toro or the Pig for me, which I tend to like a bit more. I could see this finding a way in my bag at some point, but for now, it doesn't really fill a slot that I need. So I kind of just hang on to it just in case. This is a Rock X3. I was looking for one of these for a long time. I ended up grabbing a Cayman instead and putting that in my bag, but this is still like a really stable version of the Rock and I could see myself putting it in my bag at some point, but it was kind of something I got because I finally got my hands on one and just wanted to have it in case I was ever looking for one again. And here is a whole bunch of AVRs. We have a new KC Pro Rock. I like the color of these yellow whales, so I decided to get a KC Pro Rock because I threw one into water that I got uh, when I was at GMC, so I need to get a replacement just in case I lose that other one or need to replace it. I have an Invictus right here. I haven't ever really thrown this, but I've seen a lot of people like this disc, so I picked one up and maybe it'll end up in my bag. For now, I like the Firebird and I don't really need anything that much faster than a Firebird at the moment. This is a flat top Firebird with a pretty cool stamp. Was kind of afraid of losing this, and I also picked up a Draco, which is almost the same disc as this. So Draco goes in my bag for now, but this is sitting around just in case I need an extra. Another AVR X3 with the Gorilla Stamp. There was a time where I really wanted to try it. This is a Champion, so not the more flexible color glow, but just regular Champion. I think I have two of these. There was a time where I wanted to try and put this in my bag, but for now, I'm not that interested in it, but I have them sitting around because they're a nice disc and I haven't thrown them much. And here's another one. I do actually really like the stamp on this one. I got this one off of Disc Exchange as well, and it has a cool stamp from some tournament that I have no idea what it is. All right, this is the first run Star Toro. Uh, I threw this right when it came out, really liked it, but the Star Plastic, I wasn't a huge fan of. It beat in kind of quick, and the inner rim for forehands, when I got sweaty, would just feel like really slippery, and the newer Champion and Color Glow Champion are more stable and have better grip, so I haven't used this one since then. I have a bunch of pro pigs, always looking for that flat top. So these will replace pigs. I'm always rotating pigs into my bag as they get beat in because I love the pro pigs, but as they get beat in, you gotta get new ones to replace them. So you yeah, have pigs of every stability. I did get these two right here, which were like a collab with some band. They came to me really domey. I tried to flatten them out, but I think since sitting in this box, they've kind of gotten a little warped. So I don't know if I'll ever throw these, but they look pretty cool. I haven't really thrown them yet, but maybe they'll find a way in my bag at some point. I haven't put my name on them yet, so maybe I'll just sell them. AVR, another AVR. I think we're all out of AVRs. This is a misprint in Valkyrie. I think at one point Ricky was throwing a Valkyrie as a roller and I was trying to figure out a disc that would work for me as a roller. So I picked this up. I could see it going back in my bag at some point, but I ended up sticking with the Sidewinder, a really older one that I had that was pretty beat in. But this is there in case I ever want it. This is a Star Wraith I got for like five bucks or maybe for free at someone who was giving away a bunch of old discs at a tournament. Another sort of lighter beat in 
distance driver that I was thinking of using for a roller for now is hanging out here. While we're on the topic of roller discs, this is another Sidewinder I got at a tournament that I cashed out and got. It has a cool stamp on it. I think someone in Buffalo made it. Um, pretty cool star, so I thought it would beat in a little better and be better for rollers, but I still like the Champion one better. Uh, and I took this and threw it at a sidewalk a bunch of times, so it's all chewed up right now. And I never ended up really throwing it that much. And a Roadrunner, I don't even remember when I picked this up, but another disc that I wanted to use as a roller. Never really ended up being that great for me, but I know people who like them, so I'm hanging on to it. And there's another Roadrunner with a cool stamp on it. Picked this up a while ago, haven't really thrown it all that much. I think I did use it as a roller for like maybe a month or two, but uh, it was very rarely used and I don't know. Some of these discs, especially the star ones of these flippy discs, have really shallow rims, which I don't think feel that great in the hand and aren't that great for rollers either because you want to have a wider rim so it can stay up a little better, especially in longer grass. I wanted a Max or a Monster for the longest time because I wanted to have something that was really overstable. Finally got a hand on this James Proctor Metal Flake Max, threw it like a handful of times and it just wasn't that stable. I thought it would be more stable and I mean it's a stable disc but it doesn't feel that much different than a Halo Destroyer so I ended up putting it back in here but it's a pretty cool looking disc and maybe it finds a way back in my bag at some point. This is just a replacement came in, picked it up because I only had one of them. Now we have two. This is a Thunderbird and I took the stamp off of it. You can tell it was a little bit blue. Um, I was going to dye this at some point and never have, so maybe I should. We have a couple of Rock 3 replacements in case I ever need to replace them in my bag. Here's my first ever Firebird. Um, this disc was great for me for a long time, but it's a little bit domey and I like my Firebirds at least the champion ones, to be totally flat. And this one doesn't really fit that criteria. And also, it's kind of sentimental to me, so I don't really put it in my bag anymore. Here's a dyed Nate Sexton Firebird I picked up. This is, a, I think, 2020 uh, run, or maybe 2021. Uh, super cool dye, I got it from someone on Reddit. Uh, huge fan of it. I think I got this because I lost another one that I had. I haven't really thrown this too much because soon after I got the 2022 run, which I like a lot more than this run. Uh, but this is a super cool disc and maybe will end up on my wall or back in my bag at some point because I think it looks awesome. We have a Barsby 22 Eagle and some regular Champion Eagles. Always good to have replacements of these. This is like one of my favorite discs to throw and have in my bag. So I'm always picking up runs and seeing what I like and having extras. This is a Color Glow like DX Rock. Uh, good for glow rounds. Haven't really thrown it all that much, but sometimes I like to pick up glow discs because... I don't have a whole lot of them and I would like to be able to play some glow rounds at some point. Here are two Ricky T-Bird 3s, one that I had in my bag for a while that I replaced with the Metal Flake T-Bird 3. And here is one that I picked up because it had a cool stamp and I was cashing out of the tournament. Here's my first Jeremy Coling Thunderbird, which now sits in the box as a replacement because I have a newer one in my bag. And here's a Thunderbird I got at a tournament. Kind of a cool stamp on it. Haven't thrown it at all. This is a really cool Santa Cruz Masters Cup stamp, uh, KC Pro Rock. Uh, it's really nice, honestly. It's super flat, but I've actually found that I like the domier rocks more than the flat ones. Something about it, they just have a little bit more glide, and that's what I want out of the, my mid-ranges. So this didn't end up going in my bag for very long, and when it did, I wasn't throwing it that much because it didn't fly how I wanted it to, but it's a cool disc and maybe if I find a use for it I'll put it back in my bag. This is a Leopard 3. There was a short period of time where I threw Leopard 3s but honestly they're really bad in the wind and they're like super flippy and really only useful in the woods so I don't really use these anymore. I mostly give them to other people now who are starting out or looking for discs to throw because they're really good for actually like beginners and people who maybe don't throw as far or don't throw as hard. Um, so probably not putting this back in my bag but it sits around because I don't have a use for it right now. This is actually one of the first distance drivers I ever bought. This is a Wraith, um, 171 grams. I think I got it as a roller disc. Never really got this to stand up on rollers too well. Uh, maybe it goes back in the bag at some point and I can beat it up and use it for rollers or something else, but I don't really throw Wraiths right now, so this is just sitting around. This is a Halo Wraith, Garrett Gurthy stamp. Super domey, just like the Halo Destroyer. I use this for a forehand for a decent bit. But again, don't really throw rates anymore. I just, if I'm going to throw whatever line I would throw this on, I would probably throw a Firebird or a Destroyer on. So, sits in the box. Now, this is a Nate Sexton Excalibur. He kind of went on about how good this disc was at some point, so I wanted to try it out. Haven't really thrown it yet. Um, seems like it could fill an interesting slot in my bag, but 
haven't really felt like I needed the use for it, so not using it right now. And then just a couple of different T-Birds. We have a Star T-Bird, a Color Glow T-Bird, and then a regular Champion T-Bird. Love the T-Bird. Uh, these things beat in and fly different. And it's an awesome disc, so I always have, try to have a couple of extras so I can filter them in and out of my bag. And that's all I have. Anything else that's not in here that I own are either given to other people or are like super old and don't really use them at all. So I'm gonna put these all back in the box. That is all of the discs that I don't throw right now that isn't in my bag. Um, at the start of next season, I'll do a in the bag and you can see all the discs that are in my bag. But for now, that's Vlogmas Day 2 and I'll see you tomorrow.